So today, I want to talk about A.J. Dillon and really look at just how he ascended in this past 2021 season. So looking back to when he was drafted back in 2020, in that 2020 NFL draft, I think there were lots of people who were questioning why would the Packers use a second round draft pick on a guy who maybe the Packers didn't necessarily need coming to that next year because the Packers already had Aaron Jones playing at elite level and also Jamal Williams is also on the team. And so I see why people were questioning the A.J. Dillon pick, but I think now people are pretty happy overall with the, sort of how things have turned out now with the Packers basically having two number one running backs on their squad if we take a look back at his first season in the NFL of course Jamal Williams was still in the Packers and so he was basically the third running back on the Packers back in 2020 so looking at his stats 46 attempts in that season 242 yards 5.3 yards per carry in two touchdowns and there was definitely that one game where he really flashed I think he was versus the Tennessee Titans when Aaron Jones was injured he comes in there I think it was snowing and he runs for what over 100 yards and so I think lots of people you know throughout the season in that game sort of saw the potential that AJ Dillon had in you know looking into coming out of that first season with Jamal Williams now leaving and going to the Lions which is still sort of sad um, but AJ Dillon was going to basically fill that role that Jamal Williams had and so it was expected that he's going to get a lot more playing time coming into his second season I think the one question people did have about A.J. Dillon was whether he would be able to produce when it came to receiving because when you look back at his time in college, at Boston College, he didn't really you know, do that too much. Um, and so people were questioning, can he do it? But taking a look at his past season, 187 attempts, 803 yards, 4.3 yards per carry, 5 touchdowns, 34 receptions, 313 yards, a total of 1,116 um, total yards. And when we look at his receiving stats, 34 receptions, for 313 yards and there were so many plays during that entire season where maybe Aaron Rodgers threw like a, a ball that wasn't necessarily perfect flying up AJ Dillon grabs it flying down he grabs it he just had great hands and he really showed that he can be that all-around back that the Packers you know really can utilize alongside a, uh, Aaron Jones and if we take a look at PFF's grades for running backs this past season for the Packers so Aaron Jones was the sixth greatest run, sixth graded running back by PFF A.J. Dillon was actually the second graded running back in the entire NFL, only behind Jonathan Taylor. And so I think just looking at his jump from year one to year two, of course, he got a lot more opportunity and he really took hold of that opportunity and uh, made the most of it. So I see no reason why now, after being in the NFL two seasons, why he can't even do even more coming into his third season. He's really proved himself, really proved he can run the ball, he can catch the ball, he can really do it all. Uh, you know, at one of the, at the highest level. So it's going to be exciting to see sort of how he progresses, how he develops. And of course, now looking into next season, there are a few uncertainties with Aaron Rodgers at this point, at the time I'm filming this video. And I do think if Aaron Rodgers for some reason were to retire or not be in the Packers, I do think the Packers would really have to focus on this running game because having two of, you know, probably top 10 backs in the NFL and having a young quarterback like Jordan Love, I definitely think the Packers would need to rely on the running game even more um, as Jordan Love, you know, started to get comfortable. So it is definitely going to be exciting to see AJ Dillon coming into 2022. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time.